I'm well. So um, we're having a little chat today because we've got something very exciting because we're going to be got doing a whole heap of Facebook Lives at APPC, the Australian Piano Pedagogy Conference. That's right, we are, and we've got a whole week of it. I think we're going to be the busiest people at the conference because we're going to go to all, we're going to all of the um, uh, lectures or, or workshops, and then we're going to be coming back and talking to each uh, one of the presenters about their workshop and to share some of the um, key messages, I guess, and learnings that we took away, and also have some fun moments. If there's a fun moment, we'll share it with you. Exactly. So um, I suppose we should go through some of the people that we're going to actually uh, speak to. So um, the first person I've got up on my list, let me see if I can find my list here. I'm um, glad you're good at tech. <laughs> I know. Is Carly McDonald, um, yeah. who is from Pia, who is, is the, what's her role? Australian Adventure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I interviewed Carly last week about Piano Adventure Series, and she's going to be there with uh, Tembi. Uh, they're doing a number of sessions, but um, mm -hmm. Tembi Harris, they've just released their two, uh, three new books called I Can Play That. I don't think I've got them behind me, no. And um, I have them, and they're great books, and they're going to be playing, we're going to have them uh, on the Kawaii stand, playing some of their favourite pieces from the book. So that's going to be really fun. Um, yeah, and Tembi's going to be there as well. So um, she's got some really great, I think one of her um, uh, workshops is on teaching ADHD kids and um, some is. learnings about that. So that'll be, that'll, be, that'll be good to do. Yeah, and um, look out for, um, for Tembi. This is what Tembi looks like. And um, where she... She and I think they're doing. What else are they doing? Is in, oh, they've got they they've got the hard gig. They've got the eight thirty a.m. slot. <laughs> 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 so only the best, only our, our, the really serious will be there. But they are giving incentive because they've got um, breakfast on oh. the, at eight o'clock. So they're doing uh, pastries and coffee and all that kind of stuff to entice us all to turn up early. <laughs> Definitely worth it. And we um, also be speaking to David Lockett, which I'm very excited about. And uh, I know you've spoken to the AMUB, so tell us about David Lockett. Yeah, well, David is a lead examiner for AMUB. So, like, I think that means he's like the head honcho of examiners. And um, David was the. Oh, God is here. Hello. God is. Um, <laughs> David um, was head of the Dream Team. He put a Dream Team together to write uh, Series 18 uh, piano syllabus, uh, which was, of course, just been released earlier this year. And so he's got um, a keynote session, but he's also going to be talking about, I'm going to ask him about what it took to, to write this um, uh, big uh, Series 18, because it's such a huge um, overhaul, I guess, of, this, of the um, syllabus. So it'll be really interesting. He um, put together his dream team, and it'll be interesting to find out what was it. You know, what made him. You know, what were the aspects he was looking for when he put his dream mm. team together. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to talking to David. Fantastic, and um, we've also um, be speaking to Philip Kevron, who is a ranger and uh, um, composer. writer, composer, writer yeah. for yeah. Hal Leonard, and he's done a lot of work, a lot of different arrangement books, which are really fantastic. Yes, he has, and he, of course he's um, from America, so he's coming out here and is part of his tour. So his tour starts in Melbourne um, before APPC, and um, so if you can't come to Brisbane for APPC, do pop along to his Melbourne um, uh, workshop because it's bound to be great. Um, but at APPC, he's doing a few, actually quite a number of um, workshops. The One of them is on Bergmuller and so many pieces, I think like 14 or I don't know, but almost that whole book of the Bergmuller, um, I think it's like 100, uh, 25 progressive studies, yeah, like, maybe 18 of them or something. It's a lot of them are actually in the AMV, the new series in the manual list. Mm, and mm, they are mm. fabulous pieces. So I'm so looking forward to 
um, attending that session because he'll be um, going through through some of probably his favourites, I imagine. And then also Kabaleski, he's doing a thing on Kabaleski, which also is Kabbalah's is always great for beginners, isn't it? So mm. really looking for, forward to that. And also talking about creativity and improvisation. So mm. Oh, mm. there's going to be some real gold there, I'm sure. I'm really looking Absolutely. forward to all of his sessions. I hope you can get along to all of these. It's like <laughs> four things on at the same time. We'll be having to go, oh, dear, I'll, help, I'll be having FOMO. Which one will I miss out on? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. And then a friend of ours for, who we've both known for ages and ages and ages, Karen Henderson, um, yeah. is, is talking about the versatile studio teacher and modern tools for your portfolio from the ANSCA syllabus. Yeah, well the ANSCA syllabus is quite different, isn't it? To, I mean, certainly there are some syllabus um, that are more classical, but they've got quite a good um, modern syllabus um, and including creativity and improvisation and, and things like that. And it's has been growing. It's always been, you know, quite popular with a number of teachers. So, and they've got a really broad um, list of curriculum that you can, uh, pieces that you can play with um, their exams. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to catching up with um, Karen and um, talking about ANSCA in more depth because I think sometimes we, a lot of people have heard about ANSCA mm. and I've never put any to students for ANSCA. So, I, um, I've, I know, but I've heard about it for years and years and years, but I don't exactly know what it's all about so um i always just put my students mm, playing the exam mm. whatever. so yeah it'd be really good to catch up with her and um when i was speaking with her the other day she was telling me about the uh, particularly the creativity in your oral training mm. and, and that program that's incremental that could be really <coughs> useful for people that um teachers who are really interested in creativity and teaching creativity mm, with mm. the students and and students that are uninterested in, in a classical approach so yeah really looking forward to catching up with Tara. fantastic and of course um and a favourite of ours, um, Tim Topham, is speaking, yes. and um, he's talking about... What I've about learned in all my... What is it, 150, 150 podcasts? 150 podcasts. Well, I think it's actually maybe 160 now. Oh. <laughs> I was on the 150th. <laughs> so, oh, <are> you? <laughs> yeah, so it could be um, up to, uh, I think, 160, 161. But he's done a lot. And he just has a, done a lot. And um, he's really, really popular, and, and for good reason, too. Um, you know, he, since um, Tim was kind of feels like he was the first to to start doing this um, education of teachers and talking about um, music teaching and piano teaching in particular. So yeah, it will be really great to see some of his insights because really he he started out really more in that more popular vein and teaching more um, ad, uh, not adults but teens and stuff like that because that's where he's. Started, but he's really done across all sorts of things from sight reading and practicing or not practicing and or now doing a lot of business um, style things like how to build your studio and yeah and, kind of and, cool. and how to pivot into something else something. there's all sorts of things that'll be really exactly and a lot of chord stuff as well yeah and of course yeah. um, Tim was uh, one of the syllabus coordinators or the syllabus coordinator mm -hmm. for the se series four piano for leisure yeah, in those young, earlier books, wasn't it, for the one to three or premium? I think he actually did the, um, the whole series four, so... Oh, wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, we could and ask him about that too. Goodness <laughs> me, it's going to be a long interview. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, there is um, uh, Samantha Coates from Blitz. Yeah, Samantha's been really trying to help us all with sight reading. And um, it will be, and unfortunately, she's got a really hot, um, what's that, 8.30 gig too. <laughs> so we'll be there at 8.30 every morning, taking a hit for the team, won't we, Paul? We will um, be, but... <laughs> we will be. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it'd be really um, great to talk to Samantha and catch up with her. Yeah. And exactly. I mean, you know, she's a great workshop presenter, so I'm really looking forward to, to yes, that. Yes, she certainly is. I went to see her workshop in Sydney in January. And, um, some other person called Paul Myatt is, <laughs> is talking. Oh, who's he? What's he doing? <laughs> so I'm talking about um, whole body learning, which is basically um, uh, Delcro's, Orf and Kadai all mixed in together with some technology and um, really trying to f give teachers some of the inspiration from those educators from 100 years ago. 
and relating it to piano as well. Really. Absolutely, piano which is amazing. yeah, exactly, which is what's unique about whole body learning, which is mm. um, so very much could I and off were um, based around classroom teaching and singing, but the the skills are just so transferable. Mm. So. Mm. And you've been doing, you've just come back from Hong Kong where you've been studying, oh gosh, what, how long were you there this time? <laughs> I was, was there, eight, uh, I taught for um, six days straight. I've yeah, told them. <laughs> from like, like 10 o'clock. <laughs> nine o'clock in the morning? Nine, till, <laughs> nine till five every day. It was fantastic. But oh my goodness, it's, it was a lot of work. And we had, um, I think, uh, 12 piano teachers in every session. So, and everyone sat at a piano. So working through... Um, the ABRSM syllabus um, up to grade that's five. That's what they do up there yeah. is an ABRSM. And, th and that's really great because the, the concepts that um, whole body learning embraces are really great to be used, not only with beginners, but all the way through mm, mm, all the exam exactly. syllabus too, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we put together um, a, uh, a website, um, which I'm just showing everyone here which is our live broadcast site. And if you'd like, we can send you the watch list. It'll be coming out on the Monday before APPC. And you can see here all of the different presenters we'll be speak to so far. And of course, APPC is sponsored by the AMEB, Australian Music Examinations Board, Kawhi Piano and Hal Leonard Australia and of course um, ourselves at Black Rock Music. So we're very excited to be um, supporting um, APPC and extremely excited about doing our Facebook Lives with all these amazing people. Yeah, and so that we can bring this learning to you because there's only, you know, only a certain number. I think there's a 250 people going, mm. 250 teachers, but there's still thousands of teachers out there that would really... Um, like to know what goes on. Exactly. We're going to show you what goes on because sometimes I there's been a lot of chat. Um, oh, I'd like to go, but oh, I'm, a bit, I'm only on my own. I don't know anybody, and uh, uh. so we kind of want to break down some of those barriers too and show you what is an uh, Australian Piano Pedagogy Conference. What does it look like? And so you know, if you're sitting on the on the fence this time, maybe next time you'll come. Exactly, and there's so much opportunity for learning. So. Um, we hope that we'll be able to share a lot of learning from the presenters. And so as um, piano teachers, um, we don't have any industry standards for professional development. So professional de development is really, really important for all of us to really try and keep ahead in some really interesting um, sessions. Um, uh, Taubman approach is one of the yes. sessions. ADHD kids. Well, you just spoke to um, the Taubman. Therese uh, Milanovic. Milanovic. Mm. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Um, so, there'll be lots and lots of people that we'll be speaking to. So, if you're interested, just log on to blackrockmusic.com.au and you'll find a link to get to the uh, watch list and just fill in the form and we will send you that uh, listing and then each day we'll also um, send you through the information on what's gone up that day so you can access it with um, hopefully with links so yeah. it's a bit of a um, admin job at the end of the day but <laughs> it should be fun yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be we're, so we're going to be broadcasting live yes yep. yes on um, a few sites yep so, so again, um, all that all that info will be in the download. Exactly. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Thanks for chatting, Gillian. Yeah, you too, Paul. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.